Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am Keisha and today I am cooking up a couple of meals. I went grocery shopping this morning and I will also be answering a few new YouTuber questions. Happy Saturday. Uh, just went grocery shopping. It's been a super busy morning. Went and had lunch with my mother-in-law and now I'm gonna unload all these groceries, put them away and I have lots of cooking to do today, so let's get started. All right, I got my pans heated up here. I am, let's see, I'm gonna make a spaghetti sauce and I'm going to make a pot of soup. It's just going to be like ground turkey and vegetables. I didn't buy very many vegetables, so right now I'm just gonna do like, you know, the regular onion, carrot, celery, and then I'm gonna throw a can of green beans in there. And then um, I'll go, <laughs> afterwards I'll have to go like to the store and get more vegetables to add to it later. So, but right now I'm gonna just start with the base pot of soup and just get all that going. And the spaghetti sauce will be for my husband's hunting trip coming up next week. I'm gonna get that rolling. Let me get the oil in the pans. Um, today I also am supposed to be answering some new YouTuber questions. And I was tagged to answer new tuber question, new tuber. Is that a word? New tuber questions? Okay, so new YouTuber questions. I was tagged by Lori at Creating My Best Life, and I feel like we are going to be new best friends. <laughs> I feel very connected to her, and uh, but watching her videos, and she's an empty nester. I am working on being an empty nester. Um, all my kids are grown, but they are not all left the nest yet. So working on trying to get to know like the community better. I don't know what constitutes uh, being a new YouTuber. So I just feel like maybe people like myself and Lori who aren't like even over a hundred subscribers yet. It's hard to cook and talk at the same time, don't you think? Or at least when you're trying to think of what you're supposed to be saying. I am like loving getting to know everyone here in the community. I loved watching Lori and her DDPY when I told my husband about the yoga. He was like, we have to get on that. That is like, gotta be our thing now. So don't be surprised if you see me on here getting in some DDPY. 
because my husband said it's a must that I do on my channel too. And I know it's a few days later, but I want to say happy anniversary, Lori. I'm having my anniversary uh, next month. Me and my husband have been married 25 years, together 30 years this December. So yeah, happy anniversary to Lori. All right, I am going to look for some new YouTubers and when I find them, I will tag them to get these questions answered as well. But for today, I'm just going to answer my questions. And thank you, Lori, for tagging me. I appreciate it. it. Made me feel very special. What made you want to start a YouTube channel? So I've been thinking about it for a couple years and I knew it was going to be about weight loss because, well, I've been fat for a really long time. So I've been thinking about doing it, but you know, putting yourself out there like that is scary, right? I don't know. I think just a lot of life stuff has happened recently and I just decided to rip off the band-aid and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm the only one who's worried about what other people think and why do I worry about that? Um, this is about my life and me getting healthy for me. I'm not doing, I mean, I love you guys, but I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for me. I got to get healthy for me. So I shouldn't be embarrassed to be where I am in my life. And so I just, you know, was like, you know, there's got to be other women out there like me that are willing to come and support me and I can support them and we can all lift each other up and walk through this journey together. Uh, so I really, I wanted to start a channel so I can be accountable to myself and so that I can be part of a community that also wants to help me be accountable to myself and that I can share my experience with as well. All right, question number two is, what video am I most proud of? Well, I think I'm going to say that I am most proud of probably my first video, maybe my first two videos. And really it's just the whole thing of, it was super scary on my first video to just hit, you know, that public, would just hit public. To make it public, that was so scary. I was like, my heart was pounding and racing and, you know, like, I don't know, like I thought a million people were gonna watch it or something. And then I think it was just me and my husband that <laughs> watched it on our own channels. And, uh, yeah, so then, of course, the second video where I actually put my weight on there, stepped on the scale in front of who I thought was going to be a million people watching me, uh, you know, that was, that was scary. So, you know, I'm most proud of those two. I'm proud of myself for uploading those ones. Question three, do you struggle with social media? I struggle with posting consistently. Uh, I will be really good for like a week or two and then all of a sudden I won't post for a week or two. So, and I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what that's about. It's not like a, I'm hiding from the world. I, I think I'm off of social media more than I'm on it. So that could be part of the problem. I really don't just scroll to scroll. I try to be very intentional with what I'm looking at on social media because it can take up a lot of time and I really don't feel like I have a lot of time to just be scrolling to scroll. I guess that's my struggle is posting consistently. Right. Where are we at? We are, uh, what content creator inspires you the most? So right off the bat, as soon as I heard that question, like my favorite person in the world to think of for that is Shalene Johnson. I've been following her for years and she's been all over the place, but mostly she focuses on Instagram and she um, does a lot of business stuff around Instagram. So, um, but if we're going to talk about just YouTube content creators, my first top two are Katherine Manning and she runs a channel about basically how to create content, how to be a YouTuber, how to be on Instagram. And so she uh, teaches all about that stuff. I love watching her. She's very bubbly. She has a great personality. She's super cute. Um, yeah, so I like watching her stuff uh, as far as her content. 
and she has a regular channel about how to create content and then she has a channel that's just her life vlog so I like watching both of those actually so she has great content on both of those and then I would say my second one I mean I have multiple but then my second most favorite one is a couple that's called wild wonderful off-grid and they are just a super cute couple with kids and they live off-grid in Virginia or somewhere in that area anyways anyways and so it's all about their off-grid life they're building their home the two of them by themselves bare hands so like from scratch ground up they're putting like they're building a farm and like if their life is like crazy they put all these solar panels in nuts but I love watching them they have their they're just great. I love watching all their stuff. And they too, they have a main channel where their content is uh, their build. And then they have a separate channel, which is their life vlog. So I like watching both of their channels. They're just a really great fun couple to watch. What do we got here? Let's see. Next question is what frustrates you about other people's channels? It's audio. Audio is really and, and it's not the audio you think like you know some people have echoes or whatever and sometimes there's background noise and it's an audio issue for me I get a little annoyed with uh, voice level versus music level so I struggle with this myself because I speak very softly I always speak very softly so the thing I've been trying to work on in my videos is to speak louder when I'm talking to my camera. So, which, you know, is super fun, especially when there's other people around watching you and you're like yelling at your phone. But then when you listen to the video, it just sounds like you're normal talking. And then, so what I found was I do everything on my phone because I'm not a millionaire. I don't have a lot of money. So I'm super basic. Everything's done on my phone. Uh, I film on my phone. I edit on my phone. I get music from my phone so uh, basically I just use iMovie and that's the music that I use right well you could probably tell because you know a lot of people use iMovie music so anyways with iMovie it's really good about adjusting the volume of the music for your voice um, on its own without you having to go in and adjust it but then when you go and use like epidemic sound or something it's like so super loud <laughs> so it's like I have to compensate like raise my voice up and try to lower that down and it's like I don't want to get it too low uh, it might be too low or you know it's just trying to get it so I mean that's something I, it's irritating about my channel for myself so I'm always trying to like make sure that somebody's not gonna have to be on their TV like chasing the volume <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's what bugs me. Next question is, oh, okay, what frustrates me about my channel? So, well, I don't know if I have, like, frustration, but, like, uh, I don't know if that's the right word for it. But what I, what I have a problem with about my channel is my consistency in the type of content I'm putting into my videos. And I promise I'm working on it. I promise, I promise. But... You know sometimes I get off track <laughs> you know just like in life you get off track so I'm working on creating consistency and like trying to formulate a plan so that this day I'm filming this and posting this this day I'm filming that and posting that and then there's a third one that I'm gonna film and post that so I'm gonna try to be more consistent but that's really what bothers me about mine is that my content is not consistent what motivates me to make content that's exactly what motivates me to make more content is the learning curve. I love learning and every single part of this is learning and I hope I never stop trying to improve right because I, I just want to keep learning and growing in life so I hope you all enjoy my answers. Cooking my food, got the sauce in, the spaghetti, I'm gonna let this cook through for just a little bit. Get this, oh my gosh I think I like I think I charred some of my <laughs> some of my vegetables. I don't know. We'll see. It's kind of a kind of a weak pot of soup there, but let's get this let's get the stock poured in. This is just my like basic soup that I just make myself for like lunches and 
It's actually, I've been wanting to make a soup because it's been pouring rain here like every day. And then today when I make soup, of course, the sun decides it's going to make an appearance. <sighs> but that's okay, it's not like it's hot. It's just sunny and beautiful outside. So I could be outside right now, but thanks for listening to my answers everyone i really appreciate each and every one of you yeah let's do this let's grow our channels together so i'm excited thank you all so much for watching i truly appreciate it please give this video a big thumbs up and you can also subscribe and comment below with helpful tips and encouragement. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Everyone have a wonderful evening and we will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>